Okay, so in this video we're gonna take a quick look at numbers in Go and numeric values in, in general. Um, so just like in any other programming language and in real life, we can perform mathematical calculations on numbers and floats. First of all, um, this is an integer. An integer is pretty much any whole number, negative or positive, but without a decimal place. And if you want to have a decimal place, you can add, simply do points and then any number you want. And this is not an integer anymore, this is a float. But we're going to keep it as an integer for these calculations which, which I've set up here. So first thing we're doing is printing out first number plus second number then we've got our, our subtraction where we're doing first number minus second number which is this dash sign and of course the plus sign is for addition first number times second number we use the asterisk in programming division is represented by a forward slash right here so that's the first number divided by second number so that's 60 over 5 and then we have a special um, operator which is called modulus and it's represented by the percentage sign and what it does it gets the remainder of a division so in this case if you do 60 over 5 the remainder is going to be 0 because 60 is divisible by 5, but if we have something like 61, we'll see what we get from that. So if I come to my terminal and run this, let it compile, we have the sum 66, subtraction 57, 56, sorry, uh, multiplication 305, division 12, and the modulus 1. So what it's done here is gone ahead and done 61 over 5 and literally got the remainder that's all it's done so that's all there is to numbers and integers in Go of course as I mentioned there are floats which are other um, numeric values but pretty much the same just with a decimal place and yeah that's pretty much a quick introduction to numbers and go hope you enjoyed hope to see you in the next video